Okay, so welcome back to part two of kind of the end of the year roundup. Uh, and then we're actually into January now, so kind of what I want to do going into this year for the channel, for my personal goals with uh, gaming YouTube, and kind of my thoughts on YouTube. Just going to ramble for a little bit. Um, not too, I'll try to keep it, you know, not too long and just like go on and on for no reason because nobody, including myself, wants to listen to that. But um, just some things I want to say, and I'm going to do that. First thing, uh, if you watched the first part of the video, uh, all that was was basically going over games I played and kind of some of my thoughts on them. <clears throat> um, I actually forgot three games that I want to bring up. I'm going to do that first real quick before I just go into um, talking about other things. So uh, the first one that, that I uh, started playing, actually, I'm playing a 3DS game. It's Shin Megami Tensei IV. And this game is super, super hard, but I love it. This is actually um, probably my favorite mainline SMT game that I've played. Nocturne, it's very hard. It's This and Nocturne are very close. I haven't beaten either of them. I'm still playing this one. It is just super hard, so I'm going really slow and just uh, kind of grinding, getting as strong as I can before I move on to each new area. I'm not very far in it at all. This is kind of just like a... Once in a blue moon, like, pick it up and do some more battles, <clears throat> uh, and just progress really slow. I have no, you know, f like, urgency or feel a need to rush through it. But, uh, I do very much like it. It's very good. The second one, I can't find the game. I have no idea where it is. It's somewhere in this house. Uh, usually it's, pr I'm pretty organized with my games, but I can't find it. But I do have the second one, and it's, uh, the new Super Mario Brothers 2. I haven't played this one, but I played the first one this year, and I beat it. So, actually, I, you can add that to the list of games I beat. There you go. Uh, I liked it. It's just a standard Mario game. I don't think I have anything special to say about it. I do want to play the second one this year at some point because they're not hard and get through it quick. Um, I guess my biggest complaint is Mario feels a little, um, like, slippery. Like, he, I, don't, I'm not, I wasn't a huge fan of the movement. Like, I felt like he took a while to get going and then, like, wouldn't stop right away. And I didn't like that necessarily as much. But, um... It's still a Mario game. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not, like, a phenomenal one, but okay. And then the last one uh, here is Diablo 4. I can't believe I forgot to talk about this last time. So I am a huge, huge Diablo fan. It's Diablo 2 is, a, you know, it's on my top ten games. I don't know if that will ever leave. Um, I just love the series so much. The style, like, you know, just the... You, just kill t hordes of enemies, and they just lot, drop tons of loot, and you're constantly upgrading your your character, and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, second still did it the best. Three, I played right when it came out. Uh, actually, from the point when they had the the real auction, you could buy stuff for money, and that was a huge hot mess. But I, you know, I understand what they were trying to do with it. Um, it just didn't work out right. And I never really played a super lot um, after they implemented changes. I did buy it on the Switch. Uh, and played it on there for a while solo, just to, like, you know, <clears throat> something to do on when I was on the go. I actually played it on vacation for quite a bit one time. But um, it runs super well, and the Switch was impressive. But it was fine. It, the characters move fast, and the, the attacks were satisfying. But it just didn't have the Diablo feel for me. Like, it didn't have that dark, like, you know, Diablo feeling. So, anyways, when 4 came out, I was super excited for the game. And, you know, I think it did improve a lot on 3. It, it was much closer to 2 uh, in a lot of those respects. But um, the, they focused too much on trying to make it uh, MMO, but it's not. it didn't work out right. Like, if you're going to do an MMO, just make it a full MMO. Just tried to implement elements of that, but it just didn't. It wasn't fun the way they did it. Uh, if I'm playing in someone else's game, I want the progression that should count for everybody. Uh, and to me, the, the biggest sin, cardinal sin, that this game uh, did was that if I take the time to power up my character, character and get really strong, I want to be able to go back to an area and just, r like, run through guys. Like, just tear them to pieces in two seconds, and I want to feel that po That was super loud. Sorry, guys. I just want to feel that power, uh, you know, my character, but 
the fact that everywhere you go, like the characters, uh, the enemies all scale to your character. What's the point of that? You you just defeat the point of leveling up and getting your character stronger, and uh, I just didn't like that. So I did beat the main storyline, and I played for a little while after that with some friends, but it just lost its luster really quickly with for all of us, and we just like uh, we just lost the interest. It wasn't it didn't hold it the way it should. Uh, the post game stuff was just not really done right in the way that um, you know I think a lot of people wanted it to be done for co op. So yeah, anyways, I beat Diablo 4, but still f fell short of the mark. I did. I do think it's an improvement over 3, uh, but 2 is still far and away the best one. Uh, so anyways, that's all the games. I'm not talking about any more games. Um, where to start here? Okay, so I came out with a video at the beginning of last year that was my goals for the year. Uh, I am actually going to do a video going over those. Each one, and if I achieved it, and blah, blah, blah. Just, you know, I need to get more practice doing videos where I'm discussing things. And, uh, you know, just so I'm better at talking monologue like this on, a, on the camera. But <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to do a video like that specifically for this year. Uh, one thing I know I fell short of that I'll go over now is my goal is to beat a game a month. Uh, so to beat 12 games last year, and I did not come anywhere near that it's somewhere around half five or six games like I don't even know uh and I just think that the biggest problem is my <clears throat> lifestyle right now doesn't lend the time necessary to do that I you know work well over 40 hours a week plus I have a lot of call uh and then on top of that my kids are at the age now where they're involved in a lot of sports and dance and all this other stuff so I am just not home enough and when I am home I have responsibilities here my wife is not a gamer at all. Uh, she doesn't respect gaming. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I got to do the stuff I need to do around the house first before, you know, I have any time for gaming. So that makes it difficult. So my goal for this year is just to focus on the games I want to be. Like, not saying I have to do this number, but if there's a game that comes out, like, I can already tell you. I'm most excited this year for Atlas, which is, shouldn't be a surprise if you watch the channel. Uh, Persona 3 Reload, I'm super excited for, and, um, even more so, I think the Metaphor, uh, game, just because it's, like, new, and we still don't really know what to expect, the last trailer that came out was so off-the-wall crazy, and I was listening to the, the developers talk about it, and I don't even think they know what they're doing with the game, I think it's gonna be bonkers, and I'm all about it, I think it's gonna be a crazy, super fun time, the, it looks art, amazing, the art style, I mean, Atlas always does, amazing things with their art style, but it looks like it's going to be a, a super, like, fun new experience from Atlas, and I'm all about that. So, you know, those games for sure. There's a couple of shorter games that I want to put on the list this year so that I can actually feel like I accomplished something. So, yeah, I'm not putting numbers on how many. Um, I just want to have fun with the experiences that I do have and take as the however much time I need to do it. So yeah, I'm not. Besides that, no other goals. Uh, you know, in terms of collecting the same stuff, like nothing special. I always try to get one uh, Sega Genesis complete in box game a month, just to add to that collection. I still love playing the Genesis. I have a lot of systems that aren't even hooked up in the game room, and I have two Sega Genesis hooked up just because I love popping a game in. The old systems are, for me, are so nice because it's you know turn it on and play right away, and if I have 20 minutes, I can still feel like I did something in the game, so I love Sega Genesis, so I always get that, I'm still working on PS2 collection, uh, and I love Nintendo, Every who doesn't love Nintendo, uh, you know, so just, I enjoy collecting so much, um, I'm trying to rein myself in a little bit, and be more responsible with my budget, uh, and not just buy everything I see and put money on my credit card and, but, and lots of things I'm working on. But it's sometimes it's so hard when you're in person, you just see a game right there and you're like, okay, <laughs> I think I'm getting that. So yeah, be more, I guess if anything, my goal for collecting is be more responsible for this year. We'll see how that goes. But I, I love doing it. Um, I love the collecting. Even if I didn't show the games I pick up, on YouTube, I would still have the same buying habits. Uh, I love collecting even like the craft games, like the shovelware and the shelf filler. 
I love going to a Goodwill or whatever and just finding these weird, wacky Wii games or whatever. And yeah, some of them I probably will never play. Uh, I try to get the kids to play it sometimes with me, and they are not even interested. But there's, it's still cool. It's st there's still a story and a history to them, and they're part of a, you know, a video game, uh, you know, history. And I, I love just uh, picking that stuff up. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with where I'm at collecting, as long as I can get a little more responsible with it. Uh, besides that, uh, YouTube, man, YouTube was a good year to me. Uh, and my son, we, you know, he's part of the channel. And I am not a good record keeper, but I'm pretty sure we started last year off with somewhere around 340 subs. It was right in that area. Um, and I don't even know how long. I think we're in, we've been on YouTube for three years now. So started last year, we were around 340. And in my head, I saw that number and I'm like, I, you know what? I think there's an outside chance we can get to 500. We just don't have the time. M much like gaming, I don't have the time to pump out videos on a regular basis, uh, and I know that doesn't favor the algorithm, you know, the channels, the people can post once a week, or, you know, the people who do it full time, they get to, you know, can post every day, that, you know, their videos are getting pushed and everything, and, you know, I'm not upset by that by all, by any means, or I'm not bitter, or anything, that's how it works, that's how it should work, you know, I'm very happy for those people that are finding success doing it, that's awesome. Uh, not that I'm ever, I would ever really plan on doing this full time. I don't think that could ever um, supplement my real, you know, my real job. Not that people that do YouTube isn't a real job. For me, it isn't. But, um, anyways, to circle back, my, you know, I'm thinking, I'm like, maybe we can hit 500. We got to be a little more consistent with videos. We got to, you know, I got to spend a little more time on editing, trying to do, put quality out. And lo and behold, uh, you know, by the end of the year, and now we're about a week into January, we're at, like, over 600, well over 600. So, the channel almost doubled in size in a year, which, for me, is crazy. I know there's channels that start off, and within a year, they have 1,000 to, you know, 10,000 subs or whatever, and that's awesome. That's, you know, they're doing their thing, and they they reach that success that fast. I'm very happy for them. I never expected that, you know, where I'm just it's this is not going to be that kind of channel but i just want to say a huge thank you to everybody that has subbed because to see that growth was you know exciting for me it's some validation that you know my channel doesn't suck and uh you know my son got it gets very excited because you know that's like a big thing so yeah we were very happy that it grew so much in one year that was crazy to see that much growth well over my goal of 500 so thank you guys so much for that uh, and that kind of goes into kind of the last thing I want to talk about here to round this out. It's just my thoughts on what my channel is and doing YouTube and just like, I watch a lot of YouTube. I watch a lot of people that do video game channels and that kind of branches out into, you know, video game adjacent stuff. Um, and mo very recently, actually, I watched somebody do a, a video that they were talking about how last year they did a couple of a certain type of video that they enjoyed, but it didn't get the views they wanted, so they weren't going to do those type of videos anymore because they didn't want he, they didn't want it to hurt them in the algorithm, and that just made me really sad. Like I never want to get to that point. I want to make the videos that I enjoy making, and if it's a video like this and it gets twenty views, so be it. That's totally fine. Uh, you know, our pickups videos are starting to get more views, and uh, the figure last figure video I did. Uh, I think is doing really well, actually, even more than our normal pickup videos. So that's great that those are getting views. That's awesome. But I also want to be able to do whatever I want to do on my YouTube channel. So if it's a video that isn't, like, fall, you know, falling into what I normally do, and that's going to hurt me somehow, I don't want to be constrained by that. I don't, I, I won't, I wouldn't say I wouldn't, I don't care if people unsub because of those things, but I don't want that to stop me from, you know, doing whatever I want to do with the channel. Just And that, in, that includes videos like these, which I'm most afraid of, is videos where I discuss things more in depth. Um, my goal is to talk about specific games more uh, instead of just show them off. So how that's going to affect the channel, I don't know, but I don't want to get to that point where... 
somebody has to make the sacrifice of doing what they want to do because they know it would hurt their channel. That's a that's a horrible thing. I feel so bad for anyone that feels they have to do that. And I think if, you know, they're bigger channels and they're financially relying on the, you know, the views and the ad revenue and whatever else comes from doing it, YouTube, I, I understand why they do it. I'm, like, not judging them. I just feel bad that they feel like they can't do something kind of outside those lines or outside what they normally do because it could hurt them in some way. That's like a huge bummer. Uh, I think that's one of the things I don't like about YouTube. Uh, especially the more it goes on, I feel like it's becoming more and more like corporatized, if that's the right way to say it, like where people are focused more on, um, well, if I do this, if I do these steps, this is going to lead to success instead of just um, doing whatever they want to do and it slowly building up to something. Uh, but that's just the way it goes. That's how YouTube is, uh, for better or worse. That's 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 YouTube now. So I am going to do, you know, hopefully fun things that people enjoy. I would love if people, like, if I could do a, a just you know a video on a specific video game and have people like disagree, but like in a good way, like, hey, like, this is why I don't agree with what you said, and this this is what I that's what I want is discourse like that, not like, you know. Anything worse than that. Uh, I have plenty of video game hot takes that I am very careful not to say. Chrono Trigger is overrated. Uh, that I could just, you know, I would love to do videos on. And maybe I'll get to that point. It's, I, I'm more nervous about doing that than anything because I feel like that will lead to failure. I don't know. Uh, but I love doing YouTube. It's, you know, clearly a hobby for me. This is very part-time. I don't think I'm necessarily that good at it. I say um too much, and I don't necessarily always feel comfortable in front of the camera. I don't know how you could. I'm not talking to anyone, and that's weird for me. So it's something I want to improve on and get better at, and I want to do better videos. I want to have fun, and I want to, you know, be able to discuss. I love when people comment and I uh, get to talk to people that way. It's so nice and refreshing as an adult gamer that doesn't have any... Adult gamer friends? I have a couple, but, you know, it's so nice to talk about video games with people. So, yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on YouTube. Uh, and going forward, I hope this is another good year. I have, you know, high hopes, and I hope to continue to improve the channel in any way I can. And that's where I'm at. I just want to thank everyone so much, again, for, you know, watching anything that we do. There's so many brilliant, amazing YouTube channels out there, and I don't, I'm not going to say any. Only because the list, we, I would feel terrible if I didn't um, mention everybody's channel that I've loved over the last year or two, or three or four. So many good channels. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, this has been a great experience, and hopefully it lasts for a long more, a long more time. That's not a thing. A lot longer now than it has. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you so much. I hope everyone had a great new year, and I hope everyone has a great year to follow. Hopefully this year is, you know going to be better for everybody. So that's it for this. I will see you guys on the next one.